Yoga does not mean twisting your body, standing on your head, holding your breath or some other nonsense. The religions of the world have been screaming for a long time that God is everywhere. When Einstein said E is equal to mc squared, that is not his living experience, that is his mathematical deduction. This question is not related to yoga. Okay, Sadhguru, uh, there were questions that I have come with and one of those is, what was the reason of creation of this universe? Why are you asking me? I didn't do it <laughs> No, you first said it's not related to yoga. There's nothing which is not related to yoga. Because yoga means union. Yoga does not mean twisting your body, standing on your head, holding your breath or some other nonsense. Yoga means union, union means all-inclusiveness, everything has become one in your experience. Now this is not our idea because that is the way existence is, that it is all-inclusive. There is nothing here which you can separate from the other. Today modern science is proving it to you beyond any doubt that the whole existence is just one energy, yes? The religions of the world have been screaming for a long time that God is everywhere. Whether you say God is everywhere or you say everything is one energy, are you talking about different realities or the same reality? God is everywhere, everything is one energy. Are we talking about the same thing? A scientist never experienced this, he only mathematically deduced it. When Einstein said E is equal to mc squared, that is not his living experience, that is his mathematical deduction. A religious person never experienced it, he just believes it because somebody that he believes in said so. Now yoga means you are a hard case, you are not willing to settle for deductions or belief systems, you want to know it. So if you sit here, if you can experience the whole existence as yourself, then you are in yoga. So there is no question not related to yoga, okay? It is very related. Now what you are asking is, why creation, isn't it? When it comes to creation, you never ask why, you ask how. Because if you ask why creation, I can tell you, one day, you know, God had nothing to do. He was playing marbles. One marble fell this way and became planet Earth. Another flew up and became sun. Shall I continue? <laughs> this is a ridiculous story, you don't like it. But I can tell you a nice elaborate story which you would like to believe. Take little more time, that's all. If I tell you a more elaborate story, you will believe, isn't it? If you believe you have an interesting story going, a positive story, if you disbelieve my story, you have a negative story going. But both ways you are not any closer to reality than you are right now, isn't it? Yes or no? If you believe my story, does it get it close to you? If you disbelieve my story, does it get it close to you? No. You will just have stories. Maybe what I am telling you is a true story. Even if it is a true story, still it doesn't get you access to reality, isn't it? Maybe I am telling you a true story, but even if it is a true story, in your experience it is just a story, isn't it? Stories will entertain you, stories will solace you, stories will not liberate you, you must know this. So you must decide first of all, are you looking for solace or are you looking for a solution? If you're looking for solace, you just came to the wrong place because I am not a solace to anybody. I am here to disturb the shit out of you. If you are not asked questions, I will raise those questions for you. 
This is not a place to say everything will be okay, everything will be okay, don't worry, everything will be all right. They've been saying this to you for a long time. That'll help you to sleep well tonight. I'm not interested whether you sleep well or not, I'm interested that you come awake tomorrow morning. What's your interest? So people have been focusing on how to put you to sleep. So they told you stories. I won't tell you a story because if you ask why, I can only tell you a story, isn't it? Right now this question has come, if you are feeling right now ecstatic, would you ask why creation? You would be glad you created, isn't it? Right now, the experience of life has become burdensome somehow. That is when you ask, why all this creation? So first, let's change the experience of life, then the right questions will come. Right now the question itself is coming from a wrong perspective because you are not asking this question with the right sense of depth in it. Very easily you are articulating this question. You are asking, what is the basis of my existence? You are asking, what is the nature of my existence? But you are asking it too casually because you still do not know the pain of ignorance. You are still enjoying your ignorance. You still believe ignorance is bliss. You are not being torn apart by the pain of ignorance. If such a thing was happening, then I would answer this in a different way. If you could not ask the question, if tears came to you, if you just thought about the question, then I will answer it in a completely different way, which is not verbal. But now you are so clearly articulating the question, you do not know the depth of the question that you are asking yet.